Please welcome CSP Jeff Moore. Jeff Moore. Jeff Moore. Okay, well then let's take that now to the next level, and that's when it gets really ugly. Now, uh, before we get to, and, and by people swearing at us, this was mentioned at the outset as well. But let me ask you something. Before we get too self-righteous about this, have you ever in your experience, as you're maybe driving your vehicle, following the rules of the road, somebody cuts you off, have you ever found that words escaped <laughs> that you wouldn't necessarily want little kids to hear? Am I the only one that's ever, ever uttered words like that? I'm not, I'm not condoning it. I, I am suggesting, you know, maybe, you know, there's these things where people say things and maybe they get upset. And, and um, the philosophy that I maybe remind teams about is sometimes when you deal with customers, you are paid to take the heat. But you're not paid to take abuse. So in those circumstances, if somebody is, first of all, is swearing and, you know, they're saying, you know, whatever this darn thing is such and such. I don't know. I don't, I don't know where your, where your line is. I mean, some people go, I don't have to listen to this. I'm, well, okay, but don't ever watch TV because, you know, that language is out there. And some people, as you know, some people just use that F word as an adjective for anything. Yeah. Nice day, isn't it? So that sort of thing. <laughs> well, uh, Again, it's, you just don't get a chance to, to choose your customers in, in this industry. But if they swear at us, then it is crossing a line. So we are paid to take the heat, but not to take abuse. And we also know that this happens much more frequently on the phone because there is that distance. So when you're in that circumstances, here are just a few little phrases to keep in mind. If somebody, for example, is swearing at us on, on the phone, in this case, we'd say something along the lines of, of uh, sir or ma'am, I want to help you. Now, let me just step back from this a second. Generally speaking, I do not encourage anybody to address anybody as sir or ma'am. Uh, because typically, if you're a customer and somebody calls you sir or ma'am, how does that make you feel? Old. Do you hear that? So just, just so we are all recognizing, typically if you say sir or ma'am, we're probably offending people. Especially the ma'am, is that okay? It may be true. Uh, and when you have their names, why not just call them by their name? And maybe it might be formal, it might be Mr. or Mrs. So and so, but uh, the sir and ma'am were more likely to irritate. Now, the exception to that in my book is when somebody's swearing at us. And for that case, especially on the phone, I'm doing it because I want, for the record, for the record, I'm being extremely polite. So in this case, I say sir or ma'am. Now, not both. <coughs> sir, ma'am. I'll just use sir. We don't have it. Sir, I, I want to help you. I can't help you, though, when you're using that kind of language. It's preventing me from, from focusing on resolving this. So let's see if we can deal with this without using that language. In other words, I just gave them a warning. If they continue, sir, as I said before, I want to help you. I can't help you when you're using that language. So I'm going to hang up, but please call back, and I'll take care of you, and we can do this without using that language. Goodbye. Now, if we're smart and we've essentially just hung up on somebody, what should be our next step be? We probably should, there's a good chance they might phone and talk to, want to talk to the manager, so we should probably go forewarn our manager right away. Now, hopefully that doesn't happen very often, but it's nice to have those little phrases in your toolkit if and when it does happen.